Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG World 2019. I almost said it wrong, almost. Um, thank you so much for being here, if you're watching on YouTube. Don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you're watching on Twitch, um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. We are using another Swamper deck, as I mentioned, this time paired up with Gardevoir and with Sylveon. Yeah, Dylan, thank you so much for the extra 10 bits, very kind of you. Um, this deck did well at Philadelphia Regionals as well. However, the, um, the user or the creator of the deck, I don't know which, um, did say that this deck is super weak to the Shrine decks, which coincidentally we have not encountered in the ladder today. So I don't know what that says about my evil ranking or um <laughs> or what but um we have carnivore gx 230 hp its ability secret spring allows you to attach a fairy energy hunt a fairy energy card from your hand onto any pokemon and then you have infinite force which deals 30 damage times uh, the amount of energy attached to both the active pokemon and carnivore and then we have Twilight Eject, which allows us to shuffle 10 cards back from our discard pile into our deck. Um, so a really good anti carpenter measure. Now we also have Swampert, the 2-2 Swampert line, 160 HP. Its ability Power Draw allows you to discard a card and draw 3 cards rather than 2, um, unlike Zorg. So it's um, the cost of getting the stage 2 out is compensated by the fact that um, you have... Um, you draw an extra card, right? And then we have the Hydro Pump attack, which we can actually power up with the CE Fairy or the Super Boost Energy to deal a lot of damage. And then we have the 2-2 Sylvan line, Sylvan GX deals 200, I mean, with 200 HP, the attack Magical Ribbon is the main way we are going to try and set up. You search your deck for three cards and put them into your hand, and then you shuffle your deck, and then Fairy Wind deals 110 damage, very solidly for three energy. We also have Plea GX, which allows us to um, choose two of our opponents bench Pokemon and put them back into their hand so resetting a Pika Bolt, resetting a Magnus Zone, um, resetting energy on board potentially so lots of good options there. Now two double alien and one Coco for support. Supporters wise we only have four Cynthia and one Lily which is insanely low. That, I'm not gonna lie it's insanely low. Um, how you make this deck work without more draw supporters um, beats me. Um, I have decks that have that run like anywhere between ten and twelve draw supporters, and they still conk out. So I feel like this deck you need to be running on the hotter side of things for it to work properly. Uh, but we do have four nest ball and four old trouble uh, for consistency purposes. We also have the forward candy, and then we have a one of max potion, one of escape rope, one of switch, and two choice lands to increase our damage outputs. We have Super Boost Energy, we have the 4 DTs, and we have the 8 Fairy. So, let's jump into the ladder and see how we can do with this deck. And Creepy thank you so much for resubscribing, or for subscribing rather. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. <laughs> wow, that, those bits just flew out. Thank you so much for being here. It's been a while since I saw you. <laughs> thank you so much for choosing to support the channel and we have a lot of background noise we have dogs we have the fan <laughs> i hope it's not too bad if it's too bad let me know so that i can do something about it um dalton it feels so bad starting 711 and only getting 50 points at philadelphia yeah that's definitely rough um but glass are full right like you got to day two you did pretty well 50 points or 50 points right that's an extra lead cup win that you can easily you can easily add to your tally if you're going for the invite right okay so we're gonna start off with the routes we can ultra ult for lele my opponent benches extra pokemon despite going first which is not a good idea and you feel that escape rope will be better than switch. I mean, both have their pros and cons, hence you run both. To give yourself the option. Escape rope is good in some situations, switch is good in other situations. 
we don't have field lore, so we're not gonna be able to do anything to those bodybuilding dumbbells. And my opponent definitely played them because he's got a lily. And how's the new place? The new place is pretty nice. The new place is honestly pretty nice. Um, uh, a very decent upgrade from a one bedroom studio apartment to a three bedroom apartment and basically for the same price. So it was a, a no brainer. Yeah. The skateboard is better. I mean, the skateboard also has its advantages for sure. The skateboard definitely also has its advantages. How's the dog doing? The dog is doing really well. She's exploring right now um, the house. Uh, my girlfriend hadn't been home the past few days, so she's probably hanging out with her as well a little bit. And yeah, that's a pretty looking scary turn one board for uh, So I'm gonna discard the Swamp Bird. I think I'm gonna discard the Kuzma. And I'm gonna grab Lele, but my Hmm. Actually, I just misplayed, I think. Should have grabbed the EV attached energy and then Kuzma. I feel... That's... Yeah, that's probably better than what I did. So that was a small misstep. Not small, actually. Significant. Um, and... Wow. I was going for the Lily. I didn't check it out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so really awful start for me. Really awful start and coupled with the fact that I am not paying as much attention as I should be. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede this one. There's no point. I should have, I had the Cynthia. I, I did all of that really, really wrong. Like I should not have gotten Lily. I should have gotten Ralts, I should, or Eevee, I should have gone to Kuzma and used Magical Ribbon, or I should have grabbed the Eevee and gone for the Cynthia. I really, like, <laughs> my mind is somewhere else. Sorry about that. Um, Zoro Garb. Zoro Garb is definitely a thing. Yeah, Zoro Garb is definitely a thing. I did not get to day two in Philly. And Dylan, what's a raid? This never happened yet. Let's erase this from everyone's memory. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was flipping. I was clicking heads. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it works out. We get the turn one magical ribbon, but. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> never choose not to go second. I mean, not to go first, guys. Never choose not to go first. I'm not gonna bench the Ralts this time, even though I'm going second. Because I don't want my point to Kuzma my Ralts into the active and prevent my EV. So yeah, they'll, it's like hosting someone, but it's just, it has a counter. And then, so like you let people like prepare a message or something. Okay, so yeah, generally no reason not to, not to no, not go first <laughs> against this deck. Um, my opponent got super greedy. With the ray, he does hit it, but at the cost of another recycler and another ray. Which I guess, if you know you're up against Gardevoir, you do have to play like that, perhaps. Um, I'm gonna grab Sylvia and let's check for the Lily. The Lily is there, so I could Lele for Lily here. Uh, either I Lele for Lily or I Cynthia, but I don't need to one or the other. And yeah, this should be, in theory, Right, in theory, a very easy match. It should be, in theory, a very easy match. Okay, I like this hand. So let's Magical Ribbon for a Guardi, a DC, and another Cynthia. That should be enough. The DC gets me a KO on the Grubbin, potentially, or on a Ray. Um, Rare Candy Guardi into Secret Spring onto the AV into DC gets me a knockout on the Ray. Um, if he goosebumps my Ralts, that's fine because I have another one. So, unless my opponent goes for Marshadow, like there's no way my opponent gets Marshadow KO, right? There's absolutely no way. So, we should be good here. Mm, apparently, not Marshadow Tempest incoming. And Burrito Boy, if you want, 
Hello, Horror Brian. If you want coaching information, please contact me on Facebook. Hmm. We do see the Guzma. And he does go after the walls. But, I mean, we're just gonna attach DC and eliminate the Ray. If he had another Ray on the bench, maybe this would be scary. Oh no, he goes, he does go for the Tempest. So the, the raw switch that we had ends up being decent here. Or I can just use Cardi, right? I mean, I'm gonna work handy anyways. I can save the switch. But how useful is the switch? How useful is the switch? Basically, I just need six weight, uh, three Pokemon to KO Grace. That's all I need here. That's absolutely all I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And this should be game. Fire alarm? No. <laughs> There's, there was like a an ambulance of some sort. And yeah. Like... Not only was this a good matchup anyways because of weakness, my opponent is out of energy recyclers. Which I guess, if you're running Wishful Baton, you can be less careful with the recyclers, but... Yeah, very went KO. No, I don't have to escape. <laughs> and Rero, you want to say the banner to my Facebook is amazing. Thank you, <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> that was a very funny moment at NAC. I wanted to do it again at Worlds, but... I feel like because I did that, they always had someone like behind the caster, so <laughs> I might have, uh, they might have not, they might not have been happy with, um, with me doing that. <laughs> can you energy evolution with EP by Secret Spring? Yes, the water boy. You can definitely do that. You can definitely, definitely do that. Okay, so there's another raid. There's a bunch of energy in play, yes, but not enough. Right? Not enough. You are not allowed Facebook, Burrito Boy. How about Twitter? Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a knockout on the Guardi, but. The thing is, like, we just get KOs, right? We have two Pokemon that get KOs of race. If my opponent passes here, I'm gonna plea the Vika Bolt and the Ray, and that's gonna be really funny. Uh, are we gonna see a Guzma? Yeah, Discord. You can message me on Discord. You can message me on the Discord. Wow, my opponent actually gets knocked out on the party. No, I really wanted to plead the Vigold and the Ray. I, I feel like if my opponent had taken the first two prizes... Like, if I wasn't down to two prizes, I think he would be fine. I mean, down to four. I'm about to go down to two. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you, Burrito Boy, um, after the stream, yeah? If my opponent had, um, if I was still at six prizes, he would have a genuine shot at winning this game. Yeah, there's a victory. But, that was not the case. My Facebook banner should be a sticker. <laughs> my face, my face from the NAIC photo could be an emote. I mean, that could be the, the emote, if we get to 100, if we ever get to 100 subscribers at once, that could definitely be the the emotes. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this guy and the Kiariko um, made day two, like either top 16 or top 32 at Philly. And he's probably playing, or he's most definitely playing, um, geez, he's most definitely playing Baby Bus Guard. Yeah. yeah, my opponent conceded. I uh, in the previous game conceded when I got that garden out. Hmm. Never mind, this is stack attack and again, Adele. 
This is Taka Taka uh, Canada. Which is probably going to be a tough matchup. Probably going to be a tough matchup. Wow, and he has fighting type attackers as well. So does that mean he doesn't have metal energy in the deck? I've been thinking a lot about stack attack and again Adele because I mean yeah with the fighting you might be able to cover Zorg. I don't think you need that. I feel like Baby Duffman is a better cover to Zorg. Um but like Naganadel with Taka Taka should be able to deal with Baby Buzz. Yeah. They could be playing a split with B string indeed. They could be playing a split. Um, should you play Espion to beat Puzzle Garb? I don't think Espion beats Puzzle Garb, Burita Boy, because it's weak to Garb, right? You're welcome, my Berserk. Um, Wow, Lily for 7 cards, very nice for my opponent. I think here is where we are going to go Sylveon, right? Oh, very nice. So we definitely grab Sylveon. And then Ultra Ball for Ralts. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Super Boost Energy. Goodbye, Super Boost Energy. It was nice knowing you. I'll grab the Ralts, and then I'm gonna Guzma this guy. And I will Magical Ribbon. There's a chance the Ralts goes down. So... Okay, I definitely want to grab Nest Ball. At least one. I definitely want to grab a Supporter. And then what else? I feel like I just go for extra Nest Balls. So I don't think I want to commit to, to the Guard of Oral ready. Because my opponent could just use one and attack my Ralts anyways. Um, are there any regionals or big special events this weekend or next before Memphis? No, Seed Red Trigger. I believe there's a break right now. Um, I haven't heard of any special events or regionals happening. Oh, never mind. There's a regional in Germany next weekend. Not this weekend, but next weekend. There's a regional in Germany. Yeah. Is Roland and Guzmar enough for Zoro decks? Yeah, exactly the Kryptonite. Very nice top deck indeed. Early game seems to be very sketchy for these bucks indeed. Okay, so we see a pass, but my opponent is indeed playing um, different different energies, which is very scary, right? It's definitely very scary. So, do I commit the DCE though? It's like Guzma just beats me up right. But I feel like if my opponent had Guzma, he would have already used it. So I'm gonna Lily. Okay, so I guess I commit. Oh, I misplayed there. <laughs> I keep forgetting PTC Geo does that. Okay. So Magical Ribbon. Now I'll grab the Rare Candy. Right? Yeah, now I'll grab the Rare Candy. Well, actually, double ray candy and the swamp birds. Let's go. Yeah, that works. I feel like that works. I mean, yeah, the confusion with Espion is definitely very nice, double completed. Um, I just feel like it's underwhelming to an extent. Because you have to deal with shrine, you're basically limited to no item cards. It's just really, really tough. Is this an actual deck? Yeah. It did, it got day two at Worlds. I mean, not at Worlds, at <laughs> Philadelphia Regionals. And Brutal Boy, I did get a paid trip to Worlds indeed. I was uh, third place in Latin America, which means I got a paid trip to Worlds. 
If, not, if Espion had a 2 energy attack rather than 3 energy, that would be really good. Or if the first attack was better. So it's like, why would you play Espion rather than like Anadel? Why do you want to confuse them rather than KO them? That's my, my thinking. Did I play Swampert and Pokemon Bloody? Yes, I did, Game Rabble. That was the first deck that we played, and we actually did pretty well with it. We made an insane comeback against uh, Rayquaza, despite misplaced by myself. Does it try and both card lose card to Malamar? Not quite. Not quite. It doesn't lose hard. It's it's not a great matchup, but it doesn't like lose hard. Okay, so the issue are the beast strings. 100% the issue are the B strings that my opponent will likely have. So here's what basically we need to prepare back to back KOs. Right? We need to prepare back to back KOs. So I'm gonna secret spring onto this guardy. I'm gonna, I mean, the Kirill, yeah, I'm gonna choice man here, and then I'm gonna Cynthia. And then I'm going to super trade. <laughs> I think Acerol is gonna be useful here. Uh, probably more useful than. Okay, so we'll get a second Guardi out. Okay, so basically I want to knock out Stack Attack. Ah. How, much how, many, how many energy do I need though? Oh, I just need so many energy. Is splitting them right though? I'm not even sure. Okay, it's just the low energy makes it really hard. So I need seven energy total to KO Stagataka because of the Stagatakas. So one, two, three, four, five. So I need a DCE, another DC on that guy, right? And probably another fairy, and then I mean, I need a Kuzma, right? Oh, wait, what? What? I have two Guzmos prized? Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. You are actually kidding me. And if I escape rope, he brings up the, the, the thing. Oh. I have two prized Guzmos. Oh my gosh. And the switch, right? On top of the Guzmos, the switch. Any of those three cards are not prized and we are good. Oh, super boost, reap super boost. Super boost is right there. We had to discard it on turn one. How many judge do we have in this deck? Zero. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, probably pressuring with Sylvian. Okay. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. Okay, so Naganatel has basically 230 HP, so I need 8 energy to knock it out, jeez. Ah, yeah, the super boost energy would have actually been huge in this match. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's, it just takes so many energy. However, if my opponent goes for the B-strings, we can't kill the dust main, but we can kill Stagataka. So I think I just commit here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 180 minus 20, 160. 190, 220. Okay, so I need those uh, two energy there. So I'm going to go ahead and power draw the Cynthium. All the energy. Sounds good. Sounds good. Do I need to set up another Ralt? Not 
quite, maybe. Infinite Force for so much damage. Okay, so we're gonna see P-Strings, 100% my opponent's holding up to P-Strings. We do get the first two prizes, so I am going to need another Ralts, however. He chooses to go Taka Taka, which means less pressure on my energy to get a KO, which is good. Right, there's the first P-String. I might end up using Plea GX. I might actually end up using Plea GX. Hello, Blackpink. Where do we see our six prizes coming from? Naganadel, Takataka, and then whoever else he powers up with the V string. Or if we are able to Plea GX something. Like basically, because he only got one prize card the previous turn, we are in an okay position. Because we don't need as many energy to KO this guy. And if he doesn't have another B-string, then he's done. If he doesn't have another B-string, he's 100% done. Because we have the 2 energy, that's 7 minus 20, that's 190 damage. So yeah, Plea could potentially be the play. But if my opponent doesn't have another B-string, which apparently he doesn't, this is 100% game. So we're gonna beat the metal deck with Cardi. Woo! <laughs> Lele knockout? No, Lele can't knock out. Stack attack. Lele deals a hundred damage. Even if I secret spring and attach DC, that's one twenty plus a choice one, that's one fifty. I can never get a KO with Lele. Uh, so my last route is prized, and I run no stretcher in this deck, I believe. Oh no, i all three routes are gone. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to get rid of the Curlium. And then I still have two Kuzma's prized. I actually still have two Kuzma's prized. And... Oh, you mean knockout opponents lately? Yeah, I mean, basically knockout whatever. I have enough energy to where I can... Like, nothing... Okay, so let's think this. I take two prizes. There's no more B-string. Is there any metal type Pokemon that my opponent could have that could knock out Gardevoir? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I guess the real the real answer to that is I hope not. Baby Celestila. Baby Celestila, but we're not gonna be at six prizes, so we're good. So has to be exactly six prizes yeah so i'm pretty sure we just went here and oh we get a kuzma jeez so kuzma switch energy we have the win here nothing my opponent can do prevents the win because we have the six energy to just kill the lele he could try to stall me He's gonna Kuzma, that's fine. It literally doesn't matter. Swampert MVP. <laughs> Swampert MVP. So yeah, my opponent will deal some damage. It doesn't matter. Kuzma energy KO. If my two Kuzmas were in the prizes, then maybe we would be in a little bit of a pickle. Uh, no, actually. If my two last two prizes are, are two Kuzmas, then I know that I have DC and Switch in the deck. So another DC and Secret Spring is more than enough to knock this guy out. And we don't even lose the Lele here. We don't even lose the Lele, so... Yeah. Secret Spring getting fancy. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8 energy. That's 240, minus 20, 220. So I'm pretty sure I have it right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have it right. Replacing all your Zorks with Swamper now. <laughs> oh, Mimikyu Mimic Count. Yeah, I was thinking about Counter Energy. And I thought about Cobaldian, but Cobaldian is no longer standard legal. So I was thinking about... Um, I didn't think about Mimikyu, but he would have needed Switch, Mimikyu, and Counter Energy. And I don't think you run Counter Energy in Astaka Taka Nagana, though. You feel like this matchup should be that easy? Agreed. I feel like if my opponent had two B-strings, we would have been in... We would have lost. We would have had to gone with a Plea GX. Uh, we would have had to knock my opponent out, and then he knocks out our Guardi, and then we Plea GX him. 
uh, but that was not the case. So him not having the two B strings at the right time was uh, the key to winning that match. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice the time. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> um, that's gonna be it for Gardevoir Swampert, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And if you're watching here with me on Twitch, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. It was really awesome stream. Um, really appreciate the support. I can't thank you guys enough. And um, I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow, um, hopefully with a longer stream. And tomorrow will be viewer battles. But I wanted to ask you guys, do you want to do, uh, do you want us to continue the TCG Pokedex, which it's been a while since we've uh, done? Do you guys want to use like non meta decks um, against me tomorrow? Or do you want to do um, meta decks? Yeah, short stream today indeed. Uh, short stream, just your average man. It's just usually I have like uh, activities to do in the morning, like coaching and other chores around the house, and then um, I stream before I. Time a drummer. Thank you so much <laughs> for the bits. And then I stream before I start coaching because most people can't do coaching in the afternoon um, after they're done with work or school. Um, so that's why I stream in like this period of time which I have between activities. Um, tomorrow only Swampert allowed. Um, meta decks or we riots? I mean, up to you guys. Yeah, I'll prepare. I'll prepare Pokedex decks and I'll have the meta decks as well. Um, so you guys will get to choose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for um, for hanging out, and I will. Um, see you tomorrow. I will definitely see you tomorrow and the goal for tomorrow will be At least three hours of stream. Yeah, at least three possibly more, but we're gonna aim for three Maybe more. Yeah, so we'll see um, Boiler, Sylvia and Sableye Garb only stream. <laughs> we could do that a meal stream <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye